Hey everybody, welcome back to another Nature's Always Right episode. Today we are not in the garden because we are going to be talking about and giving away one of the most powerful regenerative farming techniques around and therefore some of the most important gardening and farming books that you could own. So if you watched my channel over the years, you've probably heard me talk a little bit about Korean natural farming and Jadam ultra low cost agriculture. And I even had the honor of taking classes from uh, Master Cho, Cho Hong Kyu and Cho Yong Sung, his son. And these are the two men uh, responsible for the modern Korean natural farming methods. They put them into their own systems. Um, today we're just going to be talking about Jadam, which was, was created by Mr. Young Sung Cho, the son of the very famous Master Cho. So today I'll be talking to you guys more about Jadam, showing you each of these three books, uh, talking about Young Sung's brand new book all about insects and how to deal with them naturally. So Jadam is an acronym in Korean, Jayonu Dalmun Saramdu, which means people that resemble nature. So that, that theme should ring true to all of us um, who are trying to farm and garden using nature's principles. So Mr. Young Sung Cho is the inventor of Jadam, like I said, and he's actually invented quite a number of fantastic agricultural uh, techniques. All of his different natural pesticides, um, a wetting agent that doesn't use heating, sulfur with no heating, um, a whole, you know, immense amount of uh, natural pesticides that are made from plants. That's what this book goes really into depth on. Mr. Cho is also a no-till farmer. So soil biology is the key to all this. And he invented Jadam uh, with the third world in mind or somewhere that doesn't have access to electricity, uh, raw materials, they can't afford the raw materials maybe. So his passion is putting the power of agriculture back into the farmer's hands, taking it away from the big agrochemical companies and banks. He doesn't want farmers to go into debt. He, over the last uh, 30 years, 20, 30 years, has developed these techniques um, to, to put the power back into our hands. So that is, in a nutshell, why these techniques are so powerful and why I'm trying to promote the Cho family uh, and their work as much as possible. So now let's go over each book for a couple minutes. I'll show you some pictures. I'll show you what's in them and why to me, these are such fantastic books. And then at the end, I'll give you all the contest rules and how to enter. So this is his core book, which covers his entire agriculture system from microbes, nutrition, pesticides, no-till, his philosophy on farming. Um, I think, you know, the first part of the book's really interesting, just kind of hearing his perspective on agriculture and what has happened to agriculture um, in the modern times and, and how it's affected farmers. So in Jadam, you will learn how to make all of your own organic farming inputs. The main one, of course, being JMS or Jadam Microbial Solution. Um, when I went to his farm in Korea, that is kind of like his base thing that he's using all the time to constantly uh, feed the soil with more microbes. And what he does is he really penetrates those microbes deep in the soil with his irrigation. And he says that that is really causes the roots of the plants to dive down and go out to get more nutrients. His philosophy is that the roots should be feeding the plant. So as um, vigorous and as healthy as you can create the root system, the better. So, of course, we're going to get into his Jadam fertilizers, which utilizes anaerobic fermentation. And he goes deep into anaerobic fermentation, you know, why those things shouldn't be actually scary to us. You know, think about the world we live in, all the different anaerobes that live in our guts, the foods that we make, like fermented foods. There's many examples. So, um, natural pesticides, I mean, that's where he has invented an incredible suite of tools for us. And for me, this is where I can see large scale agriculture being helped to transition. This is for me why I see not only Jadam, but also Korean natural farming um, combined with some of the other regenerative Western techniques. This would be a perfect system to help large scale agriculture step away from the synthetics and start utilizing indigenous microorganisms um, natural pesticides, natural fertilizers, 
especially the microbes. So that's what is so exciting to me about this agricultural technology. So if you wanna be able to create your own natural pesticides that don't harm beneficials, they don't harm you, Jadam is what you wanna look into. So in the book, you're also gonna see what his farm looks like. One unique thing about him is that he doesn't rotate his crops. Um, he keeps planting the same peppers in the same bed over and over every single year, feeding back all the mulched uh, pepper material back into that soil, feeding microbes. Um, he gets better yields every single year. So it's one little tidbit kind of interesting thing. So in this, you know, he's, he talks about bed prep, irrigation, um, the type of trellis system that he uses for peppers and tomatoes and cucumbers. Um, you know, how often should you apply fertilizers and the uh, compost, the microbes, you know, everything um, is covered in this book. It is quite awesome. Um, so to me, I mean, this, is, this should be in every gardener's catalog of gardening books. Um, you know, this may seem like a complex or difficult topic. Maybe I wouldn't recommend this for a first year gardener because um, there's so many other things to figure out during that time, but into your second year and beyond, um, when you're starting to say, hey, I can kind of, I can create my own compost. I need to create some more of my own, more nutrients. And you can farm basically for free. And that is what is so cool about Jadam and just natural methods in general. So he includes a bunch of recipes in the orange book, but this book goes into a lot more depth. No matter where you live in the world, there's gonna be some, there's gonna be plants in here that you can use uh, as a pesticide. And, Young Song is a big, big believer in the farmer uh, having knowledge, having the power, having the control. So you are your own pesticide lab. And basically what you'll do is you'll mix um, these, these up in different concentrations, apply it to a pest um, in a container, and then use the weakest dilution that has an effect on the insect. So. This book's fantastic for finding and, and more resources that you can use in your area. This also has recommendations. You know, different plants are gonna work better on certain bugs. And he has provided not only in the Jadam book, but especially in the new book on insects. And I actually had the honor of getting to correct this book for Young Song. So I went through it and uh, you know, translating from Korean to English, you know, not everything is gonna be like a perfect translation or there's certain little grammar errors. So I went through to make this as readable as possible for the English reader. And it's pretty cool, it even has my name in it. So yeah, just as such an honor to be able to work with the Cho family and, and Young Song, and yeah, I just, I love them so much. So it was fun to be able to do this with them. And I hope that this is a, a very readable and interesting book for everybody. So basically what this is, this is going deep into pesticides and insects. So what you're going to get is um, a ton of his info on making the pesticides, which is also in uh, his Jadam book. He's expanded on things a little bit. And then the rest of the book covers all the different classes of insects. It has beautiful photography and uh, descriptions of the insects to help you really try to narrow down and identify uh, what insect you actually have so that you can use the most effective treatment on it. So he'll give you instructions for all of the Jadam control methods uh, using his natural pesticides or his wetting agent or whatever it may be. Um, and he even, you know, did give some examples or recommendations of what they use in like the conventional farm as well to kind of shed some light onto that and, um, you know, how you can also kind of combine his natural pesticides with some conventional methods as well. Because we have to remember that getting these big farms to switch uh, is very difficult. They have all of their numbers and all of their methods that they use that they've relied on for years or decades, and you're asking them to switch to this natural thing. And they're, they're worried, hey, if I use this, um, maybe I will lose my crop because it's not powerful enough. So this, his, his techniques can be combined with conventional 
And he kind of discusses this in the, in the Orange Jadam book. You know, we're trying to win them over to completely switch to organic. Um, but this, these, are, these are some of the ideas and, 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 and ways I think that we can make effective changes in the agriculture world um, by giving farmers tools that truly, truly work. And um, Yong Sung Cho, I mean, is a gem and his whole family is a gem in this world of, of farming and the sacrifice and work that they've put in to develop this whole system for everyone is incredible. So I highly, highly recommend um, checking out these books. I'll put links in the description to Amazon so you can um, check out uh, more about them. So now let's go ahead and we'll get into the contest. Essentially, I have 10 of each of these books, so 31 books. I do have a couple that are in Korean and Spanish, so if you speak those languages, I have all the rules listed down below. This is only going to be for USA uh, people because I, it is gonna be too expensive for me to like ship these books all over the world um, if I do 33 of them. So. Um, I'm sorry guys, but it's just for US viewers. So if you wanna enter the contest, uh, please help me get this video to get more views by liking and commenting below. And follow the link in the description or in the top pinned comment. I used gleam.io, this one uh, web application, to manage this contest for me because it's pretty difficult to communicate through YouTube with you guys, uh, especially like 31 of you. So. And I wanna make sure that it's fair and the contest, um, you know, there's not some somebody, a spammer or somebody like trying to say they won the book when they really didn't. So um, click on that and then there's a list of different ways that you can get entries into the contest. Okay, so I've set those up there. The main thing that I want to do though is get Young Song more subscribers on his YouTube channel. So if you guys could go over there, subscribe, that will get you an entry into the contest and just share one of the videos, whether that's Young Song's videos, or it's one of my videos interviewing him, just something that's gonna get the word out more about Jadam. Him and his son, Songu, have worked incredibly hard to translate all of his class lectures in Korea and make videos um, translated with audio into English, so it's not just subtitles. So it's very easy for the English speaker to learn Jadam. And they are translating with subtitles, their videos into all sorts of languages now to make this accessible to the whole world. So go ahead and check out that contest uh, link below. Good luck. Let me know in the comments if you do use Jadam techniques and what have you found? Have you enjoyed this book or any of these books? I'll do another video and I'll put this on my Instagram and Facebook too where I, you know, I'll show you drawing the winners. I will list all the winners. Um, and then contact you via the information you've given me on gleam.io so I can contact you um, and then get your address and send the book to you. So that's how it's gonna work and hope that all makes sense. Best of luck to everybody and uh, hope you learn a lot when you get your books.